हेलो फ्रेंड्स इट्स अ क्विकी अ क्विक शॉर्ट कॉन्सेप्चुअल टॉपिक रोल ऑफ कैल्शियम इन एक्सोसाइटोसिस व्हाट इज एक्सोसाइटोसिस व्हेन सम सब्सटेंसेस आर थ्रोन आउट ऑफ द सेल व्हिच सब्सटेंसेस आर थ्रोन आउट दो सब्सटेंसेस और केमिकल्स और मोलेक्यूल्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इनसाइड अ सेल विद इन अ वेसिकल फॉर एग्जाम्पल इंसुलिन is present inside the vesicles in pancreatic beta cells and this insulin will be released into the blood by the pancreatic beta cell by first this vesicle fusing with the membrane cell membrane and then releasing uh, the contents releasing the insulin by the process of exocytosis or neurotransmitter in the synapse or in the neuromuscular junction here is a presynaptic terminal it contains vesicles filled with the neurotransmitter molecules so whenever impulse arrives this vesicle will migrate towards the presynaptic membrane then it will open up to the exterior and it will discharge the contents it will release the neurotransmitter by the process of exocytosis like this making an omega shape like this and neurotransmitter will be released into the synaptic cleft by the process of exocytosis so the substances are thrown out uh, thrown out of the cell by the process of exocytosis sometimes it is also called as cell vomiting now what is the role of calcium in this process that's a key question just a small little conceptual understanding what's the role of calcium in all this look for the vesicle to fuse with the membrane it has to first move towards the membrane then it has to fuse with the membrane and finally the vesicle will open up and the substance will be released vesicle if it has to discharge the contents to the outside it has to first fuse with the membrane and the important point that you should know is that all the membranes in our body they are negatively charged that means uh, the neuronal membrane is also negatively charged or any cell membrane is negatively charged and the vesicle vesicle membrane is also negatively charged it has negative charges around it okay so if both are negatively charged then how come this vesicle can move towards the presynaptic membrane and fuse with the membrane they will repel each other because uh, of both are negatively charged that means there has to be someone who creates a bridge between the two membranes someone who is going to create the bridge between the two membranes okay two neighbors quarreling somebody comes in and creates a bridge okay so something like that uh, and since both are negatively charged it has to be a cation that can form this bridge and that cation is calcium so it's the calcium which helps in the formation of this bridge between the vesical membrane and the presynaptic membrane that is how the vesicle can fuse with the presynaptic membrane and neurotransmitter will be released that's the role of calcium in the process of exocytosis now the only question that remains is how this calcium can be made available for this bridge formation uh, another important principle that you must remember forever is that calcium cannot be kept in the cytosol in high concentrations no cell can tolerate high calcium levels inside the cytosol in the cytoplasm this calcium if it is high inside the cell uh, it will damage the contents it will damage the cell organelles okay it's it is very damaging therefore calcium is low intracellular calcium At, that means the calcium which is required for exocytosis this bridge formation followed by fusion this calcium has to come from outside and for that we have 
calcium channels. Calcium will come in through the calcium channel, then it will help in this bridge formation and then it will be sent out. It cannot be kept high inside the cell. And the last point to be remembered, particularly in this case, is that we want the neurotransmitter to be released only when impulse arrives in the presynaptic terminal. Impulse is a voltage change and therefore we have this channel which is called as voltage gated calcium channel. Voltage gated calcium channel that is this calcium channel has got a gate and that gate will open only when the impulse arrives. Impulse depolarization that is the voltage change of the membrane. That voltage change will be sensed by this channel and the gates will be opened and only then the calcium can come in and it will help in the process of exocytosis. So that is the role of calcium and that is why we need voltage gated calcium channels for the sake of exocytosis or the channels which uh, open only with specific event whether it is a, a pancreatic beta cell for the release of insulin or whether it is release of neurotransmitter. That is the uh, small little concept related to the role of calcium in exocytosis.